Uh-oh, he's here. Better get ready. This will be one heck of a fight. Listen though, I know what his weakness is. We have to hit, hit him in the pancreas. No, wait, that was a different guy. You have to, um, kick him in the, hmm, the pass, press up, up, down, down, left, right. Uh, wait, I remember it's, oh no, a bunch of zombies took Crazy Dave away. Oh boy, this is not good. Hey everyone, welcome to Let's episode 11 of Let's Play Plants for Zombies. And we have a boss fight with Dr. Zomboss. Yeah. That's who that's who Dr. Zomboss is. If you remember in the la in the end of the last episode. Dr. Zomboss is the villain of the game. And yep, this is a this is the final This is the final level in in the roof. This is the final roof level. I should say. All right, and here's how you beat this this level. Um, first of all, you just have to beat the zombies like you usually do, and that zombie boss drops and puts down. After a few zombies he puts down. Okay, he's, he's gonna get he's gonna put his head down to the closer to the ground, and yeah, see that zombie up there on top of that robot? Yeah, that's the Zomboss, right? That's that the Zomboss, right there. And sometimes he might shoot an ice ball or fireball. If he shoots an ice ball, you have to burn it up with a jalapeno. If it's a fireball, cool it down with an ice room. So yeah, that's kind of how it goes. So the jalapeno is for um, ice balls or really tough zombies. So yeah, just so yeah, that's how this boss fight goes. And when you put his head down, that will kind of give you a chance to damage the zombie boss. Ah, yeah, see, they all are all hitting the zombie boss. And it's not really damaging much, but it's because it's not really. Any plants? Okay, it's best to kind of use an ice shroom. Just to kind of give you a chance to give you extra time to attack, deal more damage to some boss. Alright. I don't know. What? Wow, that was the first time that's ever happened to me. It actually stole a jalapeno. That was crazy. I'd never seen that before. Wow, that was crazy. But okay, wow. I've never seen it before. Yeah, I'll I'm gonna repeat that. That has never, ever, ever, ever had to happen to me before. Alright. There's a Genshua right there. There we go. I knew he was, I knew he was low on health. Oh yeah, now, sometimes after a few weeks, after several hits, he gets back up. Um. He might summon some, uh, either he summons Bungie Zombies or throws a RV at the plants. Yeah, an RV. Crazy. He, he, he picks one up and he just throws it at the plants. And it crushes a few. It crushes six. That's something he can crush with an RV. And okay, try try be sure you have a jalapeno ice cream at least, at least one of them each. Because um, when the ice when the ice ball run, here, oh, yeah. See that's see that see why I mean about that. It crushes six plants. Crazy. 
Okay, okay, anyways. How about the ice cream and fireball? Well, sorry, not ice cream. Ice bone fireball. They can run over, they crush plants. And the problem about this is that they can. They can, they can actually crush the, the, the roof cleaners too. Yeah. So try to be sure you don't have. So try not to let them run over the. Sorry, not run over, but crush the. Alright. Okay, let's go up them. Get that flower pot. Oh, hey. Killed one of them. Alright, anyways, about the little progress, you can see that is his health bar. Forgot to mention that. So, when it. So the more the green is, the the low the less health Zomboss has. Okay. There we go. Alright, he's halfway down. Oh, he's smoking. Okay, I'm just gonna hold up on that. There's one left, I don't use it. Oh no! Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, goodbye. Because the zombies get annoying. And yeah, uh, screen your zombies. Yeah, you can summon those. I don't know what's the point of that. And there's no problem with that, too. Okay. He is. Wrong point. Oh boy. Oh. Oh my goodness. This is going chaotic. Burn. Okay. Let's see if I can kill it. Here. Okay. Alright, good. I get scared that he's gonna. Okay, I think he might spawn a. Okay, good. I was hoping he went summon a, a fireball, because you know when I had one, but until now. Okay, we got sketch. Okay, good. And he took a melon pole, unfortunately. Oh, that's too bad. All right. Okay, this is kind of an, a, very, a pretty interesting boss fight. Yeah, this is such one of my favorite boss battles ever. In, in, in any video game ever. Okay. Alright. At least to summon? Yep, it's all good. Alright. Oh boy, he's get, oh boy, he's low on health. So that means by some more hits, he should be defeated. And of course, for another one. Yeah, he does that a little more often when he gets low on health. Okay, I'm not sure why I use that health unit there. That was kind of a waste. Okay, this this is worth it. Yeah. Screen doors and those other guys that don't have a mill object protect protect their heads. They're not that of a problem. Yeah, okay. They should be him. Yeah. Okay. A bad next time he should be that Zomba should be defeated. Yeah. Okay, he's gonna wait for him to bend down. Alright. Alright, this is it. Let's finish him. Alright, I, I use my whole penis. Just, I think I, I'm gonna risk it. He should be defeated. Yeah, there we go. We did it. Alright, we did it, guys. We have the beard that is on boss. And guess what? Congratulations. You have completed adventure mode. Yep, we did it. Adventure mode has been completed.
Well, we have been we have we have been in the game yet, though. Look at this, we just won. We won. A sil uh, silver sunflower trophy. Oh, hey, gee, man. Home loan security. Complete adventure mode. Yay. Yep, you get achievement for playing adventure mode. And yep, some silver sunflower trophy is what we win for complaining adventure mode. Wow, it took us 11 episodes to get this far. Congratulations, you can you must purposely fend off the zombie attack. Your lawn is safe for now. Ooh. And now you can play the venture mode, you can get this note. Okay, you win. No more eating brains for us. We just want to make a music video with you now. So Sarah like the zombies. Yeah. And there's a there's a music there's a music video gotta play. And this is actually one of my favorite songs of all time. You'll like it. And let's see what this music video is like. Right now. Plants vs. Zombies, right there. And there we go, guys. And that that gives you credits, which we're not. I'm not gonna send my thoughts to the game yet. And there we go. We just complete adventure mode. And you might be thinking, wait a minute, is this the end? Of, is this the end of the walkthrough? Nope, not quite yet. You might notice that's more ways to play. Yeah. We're like not even. We're not even way. We're not even close to the end of the game yet. We got a lot of stuff to do in this game. So that was just the first thing we completed. Adventure mode. And yeah, that was a really great song. There's a zombie on your lawn. So, um... Okay, um... You might wonder what we're gonna do next. Well, I, well guess what? We're, we're actually gonna be playing adventure mode again. I know that sounds crazy, but adventure mode changes a little bit in the second time. Yeah, it's a little differently. And 
while we while we play adventure mode, we'll we'll be unlocking these random these new plants and okay, as you can see we got we got we unlock we got free new plants unlocked for us though as we unlock. Get the winter melon. One of these melon pulses to turn them into winter melons. Winter melons do do heavy damage and just sluggers and zombies. Yeah, slows zombies down and do heavy damage. Here we got plant of these current pulp plants on your current pulps to turn them into cop cannons. Press A on the cop cannon to launch a deadly attack. Yeah, they shoot cops. They charge you a lot of sun. Well, you'll see what those are when we get those unlocked. And lastly, for our last plant, the imitator. This imitator lets you have two of the same plant during the level. So yeah, copies a different plant. Instead of just waiting for it to charge. So that's kinda useful. It's best to do it on really on really pricey plants and plus that take a long time to charge. And um oh yeah, we also want these. Russian Garden, let's plant Zing Garden. Mushrooms in your Zing Garden. And your aquarium garden with the aquatic plants. They both got 3,000 coins. That's just a lot. And Tree of Wisdom. Um, I'll explain more of that when we get that unlocked. That one's a little different, like. Some, at some point when you get that unlocked, I'll explain what those do. And you got the sneak, and you got Stinky the Snail. What does he do? Helps, helps you pick up the coins for you. Um, yeah, kind of, so instead of just moving the cursor so much. If you play some in the iPhone, it's like just tapping so much in. These, um, not part of getting her percent, but I will show what they look like when you upgrade them. And, yeah, that's kind of stuff in the shop that got available. Okay, and the next few episodes will be the adventure mode. Again, it, and it's a little differently. It's kind of a little more difficult, too. Um, you'll see that in the, in the next episode. So next time let's play Plants vs. Zombies, we'll be doing the first half of the daytime levels again. So see you guys later, alligators. Goodbye, everyone.